Block on two will probably be a month of <laughs> Hidden Fates. Uh, not Hidden Fates, Jesus. Paldean Fates. Basically, the, the another sequel to Hidden Fates. Um, here we have the Mouscarada EX Premium Collection box. Of course, we do have a new set releasing this month, so there will be content on that. Uh, but of course, that's not a thing yet. So, as for now, the plan for this month is a bunch of Paldean Fates. And immediately it dropped out this piece of plastic that seemed to be holding in nothing. Like, what was that for? Was that like filler here? What What was that? All right, when I got all the cards and stuff out, so of course what is probably going to be most interesting to a lot of people is going to be the promo cards inside of this. We have the shinies of the Mascarada line, starting with, how do I say your name again? Sprigatito? Sprig Sprigato? I'm not sure. But we have shiny little weed cat here. Then we have its evolved form, the uh, Florigato. I think I've heard people say it like Florigato, but there, there is the other A, so I want to say it's Florigato. But we have the shiny middle evolution with the Yo-Yo, which for some reason it basically just loses whenever it goes up to the Mascarada EX as a full art promo card. And of course, there's a, a thingy. But then we have the big boy version in case, you know, you wanted to see some more detail and what you can make out on this. Unless you get like really close to the camera, in which case I suppose you could get more detail, but I don't imagine most of you guys are filming. All right, so another plastic layer. So many pl like layers to this thing. I've already removed three and there's still more to go. But of course we have the main meat here with our Paldean Fates packs. We should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. Oh, I lied, I had removed four of these. And how are you? Okay, so this is also another layer. So that is five and six layers in total. This is interesting. I saw on the front of the box that it said it came with a, a card holder. I had assumed that it would be like that Charizard box that came with that really fancy like fire type. There's some black inside of there, like a little... Cool. Nice of them to send it to me pre-dirty. Uh, it does seem to be a very similar design, at least, to the Charizard one, but this is meant for three cards. Um, it doesn't seem to stand by itself really well. Maybe upside down? No. Okay, kinda. Maybe you're meant to use that plastic piece that was in there. That's kind of ugly. I mean, it works. You, you, it, it will stand with this thing, but it is just, you know, a thick slab of plastic that feels cheap. But I suppose they pretty much just want you to go ahead and do this. Put all three cards inside, snap this down, and bam, we have our entire evolution line here. I'd say because they did a box for all three starters, this is a pretty cool concept. Assuming that all of them have the same thing, which I imagine they do, just designed for their typing. That is really cool. He seems to be sliding a little low there. Those seem to be the easiest to get these cards to... It doesn't help that there's a bunch of static electricity, so it's trying to hug the card. I think that's better. Now he's a bit to the side. Okay, there we go. There, we have a new backing for this video. Even if you guys are going to see an annoying light ring there. Anyways, it is now time to go ahead and dig into the fun stuff with the actual packs. Hoping to get some shinies here today. Yeah, yeah front-facing, pull-out code card, and we have the Mastiff... Gimme Ghoul, Lechonk, Execute, Lantern, Moonlit Hill, Don Fan, and immediately we find a shiny. Uh, Waterl? I'm still bad with this. Like, I, we're nearing the new generation, right? Like, Scarlet and Violet has, has wrapped up. And I'm still struggling with the pronunciation of, some, of uh, too many names from the set. But we have our little electric bird here. Uh, then we have a reverse mass shift and a hollow sorrel edge. Not bad to pull a shiny right out of the gate. Let's see if we can keep that luck going. I have my doubts. That's not usually how things go. For me, I'm spoiling stuff. There's a code card. Uh, we have a clobopus looking like it's been done by a pretentious artist. We have a room. Uh, fridge backs, mass shift, camrupt the scrafty. Uh, Swoobat Professor's Research, Lechonk, and in the rare slot, a Reveroom. Next up, we have the Tinkaton pack, and hopefully something inside of it? Uh, I'm gonna guess that we're gonna go five. We're gonna get five out of eight in this video. 
pull that one out. We have Pneumonia, Charmander, Rare Candy, Fridge Bex, nice looking Gengar card. A Charmeleon, uh, yep. Raichu, Lapras, and a Houndstone. Well, so far we're three in, so that's two of the three dud packs I was expecting. Maybe I should have aimed a lot lower than <laughs> five out of eight. I was hoping to go over half, you know, like get at least you know, what would that even be percentage-wise? I'm not sure. Over 50. Over 50%. Um, probably aimed a little bit too high there. That would imply that we can only get one more dud with the rest of these packs. And we have the shiny Pikachu. I mean, mascot of the series as a shiny. I have to imagine that value-wise, this guy is up there. He's not going to be like the top, but he's probably above like a majority of the other shinies. Of course, you guys will have seen the price down below. Very nice to pull, even if I hate Pikachu Shiny. It is so basic. He was one of the first Shinies I ever got. I actually found him by accident. Uh, I was actually trying to Shiny Hunt, but not him. And I ran into a Shiny Pikachu, and I saw the effect pop up. Like, oh, it's it's a Shiny. And I, I didn't see how it was, but I caught it anyways. And turns out, yeah, it was. It's just slightly different shade of yellow. This card makes it look like a lot more drastic, though than it actually looks in-game, in my opinion. Uh, Artisan and Mabostiff. Alright, next up. Always good to pull any of the, like, more mascot or mascot-like Pokemon. So, of course, you know, Eevee and Pikachu being the two heavy ones, but then Charizard especially, because it might as well be a mascot. You also just have the other Gen 1 starters that are also pretty huge, along with Gengar, I would say, is pretty close to mascot -y. We have Palafin. Very, very dark card. Uh, I remember actually seeing the artwork for this one whenever I do those, like, funny card edits that I do on YouTube Shorts. And I, I couldn't think of something to do with him. Like, I love the card and I wanted to do something with it and just couldn't think of any funny things to do. But it is nice to add him to the collection. And again, we got another hit. That's three hits. So two of these have to be good. One can be a dud. Uh, it can be. I'd prefer if it wasn't, but... One is able to be a dud for my prediction to still come true. We have Code Card, then the Ghastly, the Paldean Student, Fido, Haunter, Clive, a Pig again, Moonlit Hill, T Tandemouse, Curlia, and the Fortress EX. Uh, when it comes to the set, I am very much looking for the shinies and like the full arts and stuff. So EX is, I don't know, kind of boring by comparison. But it's still an EX, and I do like my little fortress, so a nice thing to have, and it still counts as a pull. Although I'm assuming that the value is going to be a bit lower. I'm going to throw out a guess and say it was maybe uh, 85 cents. I feel like a lot of the EXs as of late have been just like real low. Uh, there's the code card. We have the Haunter, Cotini, Maractus, Gimme Ghoul, Clive, Charmeleon... The Technical Machine Crisis Punch, Pildean Mooper, Chin Chow, and a Zatu. So that was our last dud, right? We have one more pack to go, and if we get a pull, then I achieved my goal of five pulls out of eight packs. I feel like that's always the thing, though, with these Fate sets, is your pull rate tends to be pretty good. I want to say it's the craziest that we've seen, but it is always... Just for every fit set we've had so far, anyways, it has always just been very generous with the pulls. Electric Generator, very useful for my Maridon. We have the Woobat, Silazar, and so no shiny in the one slot, but... Dang, we went four for four. So if we look at this like a, as like a, like a KDA, right? You know, kill death assist. We went four for four, which is just neutral, which is better than being negative. But I was kind of thinking, you know, what would an assist be? And it wouldn't really exist with the modern day. It would with this, a sword and shield. I would consider an assist pulling a hollow. But now hollows are guaranteed. So now everyone's KDA is just going to be full of a lot of assists. Anyways, we have... Uh, sorry, bonus card of the day explanation down there in the corner. This is in a weird, like, teal sleeve. So let's pull that out. And it is a double-sleeved card. So we need to pull it out of that as well. It's, oh, it's one of those weird side ones. Um, it's a little bowed. I'm not sure how well, yeah, you guys can see that. It's a little bowed out. 
Aside from that, not really super damaged. I'm guessing because of the fact that it is curved, it was either stored in a binder or it has a hollow effect covering the entirety of the card, as this seems to be a thing that happens a lot with full art cards. Aside from that, when it comes to guessing the year, the main thing that I normally try to do, man, I have no idea. Like, none at all. I'm just going to assume it's really modern, but not like... I'm going to say like 2022. Enough time for that have been to been in a binder long enough to get curved. We have... Alistair, Trainer Gallery 24 of 30, and you are 2022. Man, it, it, if you have watched my other recent videos, I, all of my guesses have been so far off the mark. And I'm, I'm happy that this one actually managed to hit it on the dot. Um, but yeah, I guess my theory was right. It is a hollow effect covering the full card, but it's also a texture effect covering the whole card. I don't know how much effect that really has on cards getting warped like that. If it being textured would, would make that more likely or not. I really have no idea. It could also just be where it's double sleeved. As someone who doesn't really do that a whole lot, you know, maybe the sides of the sleeves kind of pull in on it. I'm not sure. Either way, a nice full art trainer here in the bonus card of the day. Uh, that'll go in one of my better sleeves later on down the line. But if you guys enjoyed this video, slap this button down below. Consider becoming a, a channel member and consider liking the video. I'm going to have a playlist of all my Pokemon videos on screen. And I'm going to go ahead and link... Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do the uh, text thicker blisters. Those were interesting. And that video really didn't get a whole lot of views. So maybe... I, maybe Promoting it here can bump it up a little bit. It was just a weird blister design for them to make, in all honesty. But I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed, and hopefully I will see all of you guys next time. Goodbye for now.